was speaking about Davis's and my mother, Audrey Davis, Dublin. And uh, my upbringing, that woman was incredible. I mean, the things she's done, it, it, it was all about family and her God. You know what I mean? You know, her favorite line was, you never know what tomorrow is going to bring. You know, so you got to be ready. She's always about, like I said, our family, our children, our sisters, and that's the house we grew up in, was a big house. And by the house being so big, you know, that had room for everybody. If our sister had a problem with her husband, boom, here she come. She you knows room at Audrey's house. If my sister got grown and moved down, boom, here they come, but they knew they had room at mommy's house. And the mommy was just so compassionate, just had an answer for everything. I had to answer everything. I'd say, my, my friend, I don't want to do it anymore. They don't tell her, they tell her, they tell her lie on me, you're storying. She said, well, son, you can be with You got a friend like that. You know, because you know, you just can't believe nothing he say, because he's a liar. You can't believe nothing he say, but he could be your friend. You know, so it just so much wisdom. Of it. And then music-wise, she was very talented. She was soprano, she sang soprano. And when she said, with us sisters and them, they orchestrate, listen, that ain't right. You got to bring that up something. You got to do this. You know, and they, they would rehearse with no, nothing in front of them, no papers, no nothing. I mean, just, you know, everything be clicking. Yeah. Everything be clicking. And she was the diva. <laughs> like, I had people, oh, I'm diva, such and such. Man, they, they don't know about no diva. You know, my mom was totally different. On a whole nother level. She'd be a diva at night when they go through their shows, whatever. But in the daytime, she was a housewife. You know, made sure the house was clean. Everything was in order. Food cooked. Everything. You know, we sit there at dinner table. We had that dinner, you know, as a family, you know what I mean? She'd run that report off, you know. Why would, did you go to school? How was school today? This thing, the other And then on the flip side of that, she was a famous gospel singer. So the side we see, they don't see. Her you know, uh, 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 love and care for her family, her children, the nature, you know. You know, she was able to see, I think one of our grandchildren, one of them, I think she's seen Sean. And she's seen other ones, but it was like, she was on her way out by then. You know, she took care of and that's my only thing I wish my mother would have seen her, my children. So many. So many awards. And then the ultimate one, they was inducted into the Gospel Hall of Fame. I think it was in 2004 or 3 up in Detroit. Along with Kirk Carr. And I forgot who else was inducted that day with them. You, you name it. They were nominated for Grammys. The whole nine. The whole nine. And at that time, they was a group, but they were signed to a major record label. You know, and that was unheard of back in the day. But they were signed to a major record label. Mm -hmm. uh, they went to Detroit. And when they got to Detroit, that's how my Jackie became into the group. My Jackie was 14, singing with Richard Franklin and Reverend C.L. Franklin at his church. And when they let when they just came in and tore the house down, listen, Jackie got in the car. I'm going back. This is where I'm going. You know, we the Franklin one to cut an album. With them. A lot of things. That's how she got the name. My mother got the name Aunt Rachel. You know, from Rachel Franklin. It's a lot of stories. This, mm, this that can be told. And it shows that they, they earn their way, man. It's a great reverend now. Well, Jesse Jackson, you know what I mean? Very public figure. And he stated that at Whitney Houston's friend. How um, she was cloned that with that talent from her mother, of course. But then uh, Dion Ward, Dee Dee Ward, Jackie Redder, which is my aunt, David's sister, which is my aunt and my mother. You know, so I was blessed, man, to get a taste of it. See some singing when it was right. 
in, in the midst of that set, right there, in the dining room, while they recorded some stuff or rehearsed some stuff. The catalog is it's crazy. They got a ton of songs. Yeah. And um, I have a daughter that sings. I would love to get my daughter to record some of them songs. Because she has a voice like Ruth. Real deep voice, a real strong voice. I can't say deep, but strong voice. What's one of your favorite songs? Hey man, uh, I'm on the right road now. Because that describes me. You know, I was, you know, I had my little fan, she had trouble and stuff like that. But I'm on the right road now. Those guys, Grace and Mercy, I'm on the right road. And who was like some of the, like, the major guests like that would visit, stop by the house? Wow, it's many. But mine is uh, Fat Man Hathaway, because I seen him two days, like two, like a week before he passed. He sat there and my mom was playing the piano. He was such a talented dude, but misunderstood. And now that they come out with the unsung, you see why he was misunderstood, you know. Uh, uh, Reverend Frank, Reverend Frank McSpire, her brother, herself, you know, Dorothy Norwood. You name it, Ray Charles' wife, the legendary Ray Charles' his wife. Uh, everybody that been in my house, out of breath, James Cleveland, you know, you, you, you name it. They've been to uh, my mother's house on Cambridge Street. And, I mean, it's always a star studded event, man, when they, when, they, when they come back off tour. Oh man, the doors is on, everybody right. But they want, and they always had something for everybody. And every kid had a, uh, something for them. You know, shirts, and everything. They always brought back things for the neighborhood. That's why in my neighborhood, we can go somewhere and people like, yo, it's all, it's all your mother? He's like, yeah, it's all my They're like, oh. you know, we had car blinds. Uh, we go in the house and we didn't even lock the door. No one will come in here and take a thing or touch him. Well, who's used to handle uh, the business and the money? My, my aunt's Frida. Yeah, my Frida. She was real smart with that. And she was good. You can call her. And may God be pleased with us. So she's there now. But we can call her and she'll give you a number. A phone number right on top of her head. You say, I'm Frida. What's such and such number? Oh, that's 215, just that number. And it'd be act. And, and, uh, what's some stuff you can tell me about uh, Ruth Davis, our sister? My sister was something, man. That was a really cool woman. You know, I, I became, I played great baseball. I mean, in high school, I was drafted in baseball. But I went to West Virginia on the football scholarship. But our sister, Ruth Davis, showed me how to play second base. You know, I mean, it was dynamite. When I went to school doing these things that she showed me, the coach like, wow, where you learn that move from? That's a, that's a major league move. And I say, my aunt. I say, your aunt? Your aunt? Like, huh, huh? I say, yeah, my aunt, my aunt. You know? They're like, wow. And my woman showed you how to do this? I say, yeah. yeah. But my sister was incredible. She's incredible. If, any memories of what, uh, hanging out with um, Jackie Bedell? Yeah. My Jackie was something. She loved children. She loves children. And one of my daughters, my oldest daughter, Mer uh, Nakia, she's Nakia's kind of mother. She sit there and get kids. And Jackie was <laughs> the motherly type, you know, but she, she get her. And then when Kia became old enough to go to the and stuff, they'd be out all day. Um, they'd be gone all day, her and Nakia. Yeah. And what about uh, Curtis Dublin? Curtis is a man. Curtis is a man. When Aunt Sister recruited them to be in their group, he was a jazz musician, so he was tough. And uh, he knew about that, you know, the, the, in that music world. He, he the one that, the first one I know, that had a Hammond piano. The next person I knew to get it, and they made a puzzle, was Ray Charles. So Curtis had that style. That's why Ray Charles had that style. So that's, that's the devil's music, because that's how Curtis played that music like that. And that's how Ray Charles came up with the Rayettes, listening to my mother and them. Because like I said, Ray Charles' wife 
was a dear friend of my aunt, my aunt Ruth. So that's how she knew, and he knew about that sound. You know, you can go near and far, and they tell you how great the Davis was, how talented they were. They were that they were the force to be reckoned with on any level. They sing it. Singing women. And uh, what can you tell about uh, Thelma Davis? Well, I was young. But I know as soon as I came my mind, you could tell me, you know, the sound of my mind was real close because they were so close in age. And I know that when my mom, when my aunt Thelma died, when she passed, my mom took it pretty hard because they were like the same age. She was real close with them. She was, she was amazing. She didn't. She was the standard brand of crew. You know, she used to drink, smoke, men, you know, she stayed right on course, you know. You know she was they, you know, when she see them going out and they going too far this way with some shot, come on back in here, we done. You know, so, you know, didn't play no game. Yeah, all of the road. And Cynthia Young, which was Gimpy. She knew her role. All of them just knew their role. You know, everybody lived in one big house, they didn't have to worry about, oh, you got to come on over for rehearsal. All of them come right here together. Our sister come and say, come on, y'all, we're going to rehearse. They just stop what they're doing and get on in the living room, in the dining room, and get busy. They would get busy. You know, people be all on the porch. One of him, because, especially in the summertime, because like, like my sister niece was saying, it's out, the windows open, so I had a lot of <laughs> oh, that sounds good. But then, they just got me. No, it ain't like that. It, 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 was, it was a distraction. And they couldn't be with themselves because they had fuss and cuss each other out. I'm like, you know you ain't holding that note right. You got to do this and do that. And like, when, uh, then, when, when Curtis passed, we got, we had some other people, but it was, we got me. Edward Brown. He was Rosie Wallace. Pastor Rosie Wallace. Brown, husband. Unbelievable time. Unbelievable. When they come back off being on tour for weeks, man. Oh man, it was like it was like we hit the lottery. They come back, we be in their bags, looking all in their bags, getting stuff, and our sister handing us money, you know, and, you know, a lot of people was around, like, you know. A lot of people did for the wrong reasons too. When I said that they did this to get what they can get, you know. But that's the kind of heart my my mom and my aunts had, you know, they, they didn't worry about it. They did things they did, they did it from the heart. You know, old Nick would be ringing. Yo, Davis is on, man. Davis is the home. Come on, man, you know. Huh? How would you summarize their legacy? Incredible. Incredible. Because when you look at their legacy, they've done it all. You know, they, they, were, they, were, they were wives, they were mothers, they were everyday people, but once they get on their stage, they, they transform to something totally different, you know, and that's how we look like, oh, that's just my mind, but to the world, or the gospel world, oh, that's what you think, you see that, I mean? uh, world famous baby sister, you know, so, their legacy was incredible, you know? it still is, you know, still is. I appreciate that what you do, Michael, because you, you keep it revenue, you keep it you keep it alive. And that's great. That's so great. How many people can say I can get up in the morning, do my normal routine, but I can go to YouTube, Queen Bay Bank, pull up a video, or go to the David Sisters page and look at my mom, my aunts, and them doing their thing. And get a great charge. You know, I'm like, wow, that's my family, you know what I mean? So, it's cool, it's real cool, it's cool.